as a fiscal conservative, what is your position on all the weekend trips that the president makes down to Mar-a-Lago? With regard to, uh, to presidents and what they do on the weekend, I'm not going to consider size presidents. A packed and rowdy town hall in Arizona tonight. That was Republican Senator Jeff Flake. He is up for re-election next year and is considered to be a, re a vulnerable GOP seat. Robert, Catherine, and Rick remain with us. Robert Costa, I've always wondered, uh, people running for office want the public to come to big events, to town hall events, come out and help them win uh, election and be part of the crowd. Why is it when they get in office, they're not all that interested? Many of them won't do what Senator Flake is doing tonight. They won't have town hall meetings. And when they do, too many of them complain about organized agitators shutting it down. It's a great point. As a reporter, there's nothing better sometimes than covering a town hall meeting. But so often, these lawmakers today are having tele town hall meetings. You don't get to see them in the flesh, to see them interact with constituents. This Flake Town Hall, Brian, is fascinating because if there's any senator who irked the president during the campaign, it was Senator Flake of Arizona. My, re my reporting tells me that the president would often complain about Senator Flake, even to his face when he would visit the Capitol during the campaign. And now Flake finds himself, in a way, having to defend the Trump agenda, the Trump administration, even though he's not a full-throated supporter. Uh, Catherine, in the modern era, you think of a guy like Jerry Ford, uh, came from the House of Representatives where he was a giant uh, representing his district out in Grand Rapids. And so many of his thoughts and deeds every day were kind of party-minded. He thought like a legislator and a local party guy. There's, there's none of that now. What can Donald Trump start giving these GOP men and women to run on and defend their seats with? Well, it's a good question, and it's complicated because, of course, Donald Trump is not a uh, traditional Republican, even though, obviously, he, he won the Republican nomination and, and went on to run with all these members. So some of them you have to make di different choices about whether they, they run on what the White House is doing, whether they try and go it alone, and it depends a lot. I mean, a lot of these races do vary by district, but obviously a midterm election can tend to be a referendum on the president and the, and the work of the president and Congress. And so I think we're going to really see how, how voters feel about that. Uh, Rick Stengel, if you sent President Trump out to uh, campaign for folks, mm -hmm. when Air Force One touches down, is that these days a help or a hindrance, uh, an asset or a liability? I suspect it's a liability. I've actually always thought when, when presidents come and campaign in local districts and arrive on Air Force One, they have these gigantic motorcades that snarl towns for miles. Yeah. I, I've always thought this, is, this imperial presidency is not something that the American people like. And actually looking at uh, Senator Flake's town hall, it, these, some of these guys have to triangulate now between Trump yep. and conservative Republicans, and he's in a perfect example of it. That is a really, really tricky situation. It's not just between Republicans and Democrats now, because Trump is not a typical Republican, as we've all been saying, and the people who support him come from, you know, all different kinds of backgrounds. It's really tricky. Uh, Robert, as you look back at it, did the Speaker of the House really take a political bullet in not allowing that health care measure with 17 percent popularity even before the rewrite uh, come up for an actual vote because the members who did stick their necks out and say I'll support it are catching all kinds of flack back home. That's so true and the speaker knew the political dynamic would, would be disastrous potentially for some of his members. Uh, whenever a bill's uh, suspected to fail on the floor as a congressional reporter I can tell you uh, a lot of people start just pulling away from the bill. The support moves away. And Ryan knew that. And the speaker said, I don't want people to be part of supporting a bill that's likely to fall apart in the Senate or never even pass the House. So he asked the White House to pull the legislation. But Republicans are still getting heat about the Affordable Care Act because the president keeps trying to revive it. And so it's an active issue uh, looking far ahead to 2018.
And please note something very important as we look at the live pictures from Mesa, Arizona. Uh, people are behaving themselves. They're being civil and polite. Yes, there was a chicken suit in the front row, but they've clearly been given green pieces of paper to identify themselves if they have a question. Uh, they're showing, there's our friend the chicken in the front row, they're showing better behavior, candidly, than uh, they see out of Washington in a lot of people. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.